today MTD CNC are at wheel bar components. Now, if you uh, do three axis machining, but you've often wanted to get into five axis, but you've been a little bit apprehensive about it, then you should hear Gareth's story. Uh, Gareth, you've recently purchased this machine from Herco. This is a five axis machine. Tell us about that journey from going from three axis to five axis and why you did it. Yeah, well, we, we wanted it to be as painless as possible. Um, didn't want to frighten our setters by going full trunnion machine off the bat. Herco offered a machine with a flat bed with the C-axis already inside it, so we can still use that as a three or four axis machine. Old programs we can use straight onto it. Uh, just works for us comfortably. And that's really the key to this. You wanted to be able to put this machine here and still do the same work on this that you could do on your other machines, but also then step up to doing more Compl complicated part. That's right, yeah. Yep. And as, as an example, this is one of your first jobs here that you've been doing on this machine. Why couldn't you have done this on a three axis? Because you'd have had to have kept moving the component around? There'd have been some really awkward jigging and angles, yeah. The, the two upstands on the part lean at two degrees, but the holes are still square to the base of the plate. So it would have been a nightmare with the, the angle plates on a standard machine. And, and that's what we're machining in here. So you're now doing all of what we can see here in pretty much one operation, aren't you? All except the bottom face, yeah, everything's done in one hit. That transition period then, going from the three axis into the five, how painless has it been, not just for you as the, the, the owner of the business, but for your engineers that have you know, had to now adapt to this? I'm sure they disagree with me, but pretty painless, really. Um, we bought Hypermill at the same time as buying the VMX 42, so the lads have had to learn to get to grips with that, but this was the first part we programmed via Hypermill on the CAM software. And he's done a, a great job with it straight off. It ran first time. It was pretty smooth. So that go, going on to then this five axis machine, when it starts moving around and the head tips and the table turns, is there a little bit of anxiety there when you, when you first go down this road? Very much so, yeah. Very much so, especially with the tool presetters being mounted above the surface of the table. Um, but again, the model's in Hypermill. The crash collision works within Hypermill. And it, it's all worked pretty well so far, yeah. Uh, you, you said you didn't really want to go for the Trunnion style five axis. Was that just specifically because this gave you the option to do larger components and the same stuff as you do on the other Hercos? It did. It, it meant the machine could sit on the floor with existing work. I hadn't got the pressure of looking for five axis work and understanding how to program five axis work as soon as it landed. So it, it's earning money, it's paying for itself with, with general components and we've got the luxury of picking some nice five axis work to play with in the background now. As the model is here as well, is there many other enhancements compared to the other Hercos you've got? Have you gone for a machine with a, 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 a faster spindle? Uh, I know we've got the Max 5 control here, that's different yeah. too, but is there any other options that you've gone for on here that you haven't got on your other Herco machines? Mainly spindle, um, all servo drives on this machine, so everything's a bit quicker, ramp up, ramp down times are quicker. Um, and more power. I also noticed that that, that table, that C-axis turning, so I suppose there's no reason why if you had a slightly larger component you couldn't do turning on there as well. No indeed, as long as it was aluminium or plastic then yes you, you could actually turn outside diameters of things, yeah. Your business, you're 70% your own product, 30% subcontract. Yeah. Um, the reason for this machine is really to satisfy and grow that subcontract side, isn't it? It gives you much more flexibility to off offer buyers and uh, people looking to sub out parts. It does, yeah. Um, obviously, we're, we're known as a, a turn part shop and a, a normal milling shop. We can now offer the lot, um, and I suspect there'll be more to follow with the five-axis machining as well. How many Hercos have you actually got here on milling and turning? Uh, 13, I think, now. What started all that off with them? Initially, um, our own range of parts for our hydraulic fittings is fairly simple, so we, we didn't want overcomplicated machinery. And Herco just fit the bill with the build quality, the price point. It did what we needed on two axis lathes, so we, we started replacing all our lathes with them 20 years ago now. Um, never really looked back, not really bought many other manufacturers' machines along that path either have you? No not really, They're, they've been good with us, we've, we've had issues um, as I'm sure most people do with buying plant. They've stood by us, they've resolved them, most of them um, and they continue to be there in the background for us. Um, it, it's not a bad partnership we've got with them.